In this video, we're gonna delete a value from an array based on the value and not the key. So I recently had this happen where I needed to delete the um, and a, a part of an array without knowing the actual key. And I thought this would be a great video to uh, show you guys how to find that value and remove that from the array by the key, by the value and not just the key, all right? So let's get started. So here on the ideapro.io site that we do testing and examples with, we're gonna create a blank page and we're gonna call it, um, we're gonna save it as array delete.php. Okay, so we're gonna open up some PHP brackets here and we're gonna say, oh, Welcome, oh, come on, to the array delete. Just to show that we're on that page, right? We're gonna come over to our browser and we're gonna refresh the page and we are here on this page, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create an array. So there's multiple ways to format and create an array. We're gonna make it simple so that you can see each, each line, okay? So we're gonna say my array is equal to square brackets. Now what that does is that, that creates my array as a blank array. You could also do it as my array is equal to array like that, and then put all the values in there. Um, but we, I wanna show you guys using the square bracket like this so that we can do it on a different line all the way down. Cause if we could say, you know, Apple, oops, orange, come on, orange. We could, we could do the array like that, but I wanna do it so you guys can see each line, all right? So my array, and then we're gonna do two square brackets here, equals, and we're gonna say apple, right? And then we're gonna copy this line, and we're gonna come down and we're gonna say orange, and we're gonna say pear, and then we're gonna say banana. Banana, 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 I don't know. Close enough. <laughs> so my array, so now each one of these is a, uh, is a value in the array. And we're not setting the keys here, because we could set these. We could say zero, one, two, three. We could set it like that, but if you're pulling data from a database or, or getting a JSON file and then you parse out the JSON, you're not gonna know what those keys are and typically the keys are zero, one, two, three, four, you know, all the way like that. Um, if we built the array like we were talking about a minute ago where it's my array equals array like this and we did apple pair, whatever, it's still going to um, set a default value for the key, starting with zero, one, two, three, all, and on like that. So we don't know what the key is gonna be for the orange. We wanna delete the orange from the array. So we don't know what that key is gonna be. Okay, so we're going to show array here. We're gonna say my array. And then we're gonna come over to the browser refresh and now we have the array of apple, orange, pear, and banana. Now, if we said, okay, we just wanna delete the orange. We know it's the um, second in the array. We can say unset my array one, like that. And whoops. And then we will print out that array again. So you can see that now we're gonna refresh. And now we have orange up here and then we don't have orange here. So we've deleted that um, from the array, but we have zero apple, two pear, three banana. And we said, oh, well, we also wanna delete the pear. Well, that's no longer value um, 
one, it's not, even though it's the second one in the array, it's no longer one, it's two, because we've deleted one. It doesn't reset the array. It doesn't recount the array. So let's go back up to here and say, we wanna just delete orange, not knowing what that the key is for it. So we're gonna get rid of this. So we're gonna do an if statement with a key is equal to array search to see, to find that, that value that we wanna delete. So we're gonna call a, a variable and say delete value. And we wanna say that we wanna delete the value of orange, okay? So then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna call our if statement. We're gonna say if, and then inside of our if statement here, we're going to call the dollar sign key and we're gonna put these in parentheses is equal to array search. And then we're gonna open up some brackets here because the array search is a function. And the first value uh, in our array search here is going to be our delete value. Whoops, D-E-L underscore value. And then what our array is, my array, okay? And so then, we're gonna say not equals to false, okay? So if it's not equal to false, meaning it, it does exist in that array search, it's going to do something here. So then we're going to unset my array, and then we're gonna call in this key here. So dollar sign key, and then we'll come down here and we will say show the new array, which is my array. And we'll come back over here and we'll refresh. And we deleted the entire array. We have a problem somewhere. Oh, we have a Y instead of search. That's the reason why we had nothing here because it was a, um, it had said there's not a function called searchy. Okay, so we're gonna save that. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna refresh. And now we have our array here that is missing the value orange. Again, we have zero, two, three, just like we had before, but now we did that without knowing what that key value is. And if it's coming from a JSON file or something like that, there may be actual, um, it may not be zero, one, two, three, four, five. It may be actual have a key in there. So this gives you the ability to delete the value uh, from the array without knowing the key. So I hope that helps you guys delete a value from an array. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.